Well, as people across the country travel for the holiday weekend, the CDC director advises unvaccinated people to just stay home. Right now, you're looking live over at I-40 at Church Street. You see a lot of people are on the road already, whether they're starting the holiday or just maybe starting the weekend. Traffic is starting to back up. Now, states, including Tennessee, are seeing a surge in hospitalizations all because of the Delta variant. So News 4's Marissa Sulik is here explaining to us exactly what you need to do before you hit the road. Lauren, yes, while the vaccine is available for those older than the age of 12, many kids are still ineligible. And with Tennessee setting the record for the third day in a row for the most hospitalizations from COVID-19, including pediatric patients, the CDC is advising some families not to travel this week. And now experts with AAA say they expect most people to take road trips if they are heading out this weekend. And if you are hitting the road, they advise you avoid main commuting hours when people are also heading home from work. Experts at AAA say it's hard to forecast how many will be traveling this Labor Day since kids are back in school with some in quarantine. Given, you know, the recent uptick in cases, um, you know, that's that's one wild card that that is hard to guesstimate on, you know, will will people still get, get out and travel? You know, are there concerns with traveling? Um, but the biggest advice that we can give um, to those that are planning on traveling is that travel is a personal decision. I encourage everyone to go get your shots because that's important. That's what I did. And with that, I'm, I feel very comfortable traveling. So, yep, I have my whole family out here. So we're going, we'll be safe. We'll be all right. We'll have fun. Enjoy ourselves so this weekend. So, yeah, that's what we've helped to do. AAA also says gas prices are the most expensive we've seen since 2014 for Labor Day weekend. And right now it's about $2.90 on average per gallon. AAA also says that Hurricane Ida shouldn't have an impact on gas prices. However, if you are traveling to New York or New Orleans, travel getting there may be tricky. Lauren. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Appreciate that.